Back here in the metro, a destructive fire sends two Olathe families out of their homes on a frigid morning. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson is live at the 800 block of North Hamilton, where the temperatures were a problem for the residents and firefighters there. Lisa? That's right. Right now we're live again in Olathe. You can take a look at the uh, duplex and see one side is now boarded up. And right now the family is moving out of the other side. The residents and firefighters stood out here for hours this morning, both trying to stay warm while looking for answers. This duplex fire started with a space heater in the garage. The next thing you know, the whole house is on fire. A lot of fire inside that duplex. Uh, smoke did get into the adjacent duplex, but no fire. All seven people made it out safely. A family of five lived on one side, a couple on the other. The homes were deemed uninhabitable as fire crews battled the fire and the dangerously cold temperatures. I feel sorry for them. It's cold outside. Our bodies just can't work as long in it, as hard as we work. Uh, so we work on rehabilitation, so making sure everybody's okay. We cycle them through to make sure everybody's got enough fluids, they're feeling okay, their, their vital signs are all right. Despite the fire and water-resistant turnout gear worn by firefighters, below freezing temperatures can easily create a trip hazard. There's a lot of ice out here. It's very slick in some areas with all this water, and we just try to watch after ourselves. And we actually did some uh, training in regard to working in the cold weather this week. The Olathe Fire Department is seeing a steady increase in call volumes. They responded to more than 1,000 calls in December alone, and the vast majority of the fires were caused by unattended heat sources, including this fire. Now back here live, you can clearly see that this side is a total loss. The fire investigators have estimated the damage of the entire duplex at $160,000. Both families are being assisted by the Red Cross. Live in Olathe, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.